Welcome to the Lookout and Outlook series, brought to you by the Teaching and Learning Technologies within Division of Technology Services at UWRF. Today we are on the Lookout in Outlook for the different ways we can view another person's calendar using either the Mac, Windows, or OWA. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the Mac view. Here we are in the calendar, and I could uh, open up the calendar here, open another user's calendar, if I had permissions and or if I had delegate access. But since I don't, I'm going to um, take a look at what we've got on the side here. And this particular one has Freddie Falcon. So if I wanted to view Freddie Falcon's calendar, I could put a check mark in his area and his little checkbox there. And his name appeared there if I were able to open up his calendar and have um, the view from either the permissions that given to me or delegate access. And I do have delegate access here with Freddie as a test. So you can see that when I put the check mark in, it overlays the calendars. And here is my calendar for lunch and here is his for the cash cab. And if I uncheck that, you'll see this one disappear. In the Mac, it overlays it. It doesn't put it side by side. You can't get a view side by side using a Mac. But what I could do, if I wanted to see it side by side in two different windows, I could check this box and then right click this and say open in a new window and then I could uncheck Freddy's and then I would just view mine and then the other one view Freddy's. But sometimes this isn't um, helpful because you don't have permissions by default on a Mac. So what we can do is we can start a meeting. Let's take a meeting here today at 5 o'clock and I'm going to um, double click on that and start a meeting and what I can do then is invite somebody and I can go and use the scheduling assistant. Now if I put the scheduling assistant in and I add a person in and I can add anybody in. Let's try Robert Rust <coughs> and I search all fields and just hit enter here and when I find Robert let's put that in and put him in as a required and there we go. So now Robert's added in there, and let's close this window here. Now Robert's added in there, and I can see what things are being uh, done on his calendar, free, busy, all those types of things. Okay, so that's one way we can look that and overcome that uh, without having permissions. So I'm going to discard that. Another thing I could do is use OWA. We'll get into that in a minute. So that's pretty much how you're going to see the uh, Macintosh calendar and being able to open up other people's uh, calendars on that area. Let's take a look and see what we uh, view on the Windows side. So here we are in the Windows side and let's go into the calendar over here. And when I view the calendar here it's much easier on the Windows side by default. I've got a number of people that I've viewed their calendars. Once you view them it saves their name in the shared calendar area. So anytime I want to open up a person's calendar whether I have permissions or not which is different from the Mac view, I can just choose open calendar from address book and then go and type and search that person's name. Once I find the person's name, it adds it into this area over here. And when you view it using the Windows uh, client, let's take a look at how Freddy's uh, and mine is being viewed. If I click on his, you'll see that it's side by side and it doesn't do an overlay. I could do an overlay view by looking at a different view up here and then I could choose overlay and once you see the overlay this is how the overlay looks in a windows and again it's color coded so the tab um, shows up in here which is a little different than the Mac also so Freddy's are green and mine are blue and if I want to take off overlay and look at side by side I just uncheck that so that's how I can see the differences here inside the windows and now what we want to do is take a look at what's happening with OWA so if I look at the internet here and I go into OWA, another way I can view the calendar using this model is click on share and add calendar and enter the person's name. Once I enter the person's name, they too will appear down here in the left side under um, people's calendars. And if I check the box for Freddy, you'll see that I get the same type of a window that I did in the Windows client where I've got the overlay view. And sometimes, um, by default, it's set so that you can't view more than five here. 
but you can go in the options and see all options and you can change um, those default attributes to allow you to look at things horizontally or add more people into that and so there you have it there's three different ways of viewing other people's calendars in um, Outlook